Hello, hello everyone, and it's Jankos here yet again. Um, today I meet you in the morning, or at least in the morning my time, it's 12 p.m. Okay, I know it's not the morning for most people because most people have to wake up early, but for me it's the first game of the day, so I might not perform as clean. Well, I guess my Shaco game was also my first game of the day, and I, I was like pretty clean. So I think it's it's playable, it's playable, but we still have to make sure we don't do too much. Well, um, I looked at the comments in the previous Shaco video instead of the funny moments one. And uh, I saw uh, talent suggestions, I saw Trandle suggestions. Um, I think maybe I saw more suggestions, but I'm not even sure right now. But definitely the most liked ones were the Talon and Trandle. So since, you know, assassins are kind of in the meta right now, um, I choose to play Talon this game. I choose to go Talon jungle and uh, hopefully carry the game, hopefully make it work and hopefully show you how Talon jungle could be played. Well, first of all, um, my last game on this icon was action Shaco. So as you can see, I already have Smite and Ignite. That's perfect. We are not gonna change anything. We are playing Talon. We don't really need Flash. We want to make sure we kill people. Um, so the Ignite will come in handy. Uh, when it comes to the rune page though, that is a good question. I think I probably go for Electro. I think that probably makes the most the most sense when it comes to Talon Jungle. I think I will go for Electro uh, into Silent Impact, into either Zombie Ward or um, Eyeball Collection. That depends if we count on uh, getting some free kills. I will count on getting some free kills. And then Revenue Hunter. Revenue Hunter is getting nerfed next patch. It's going to be slightly weaker for junglers as it won't give you the flat 1% uh, spell bump anymore uh, starting from mid 1. But I think Revenge Hunter will still be kind of viable because as soon as you get a kill or two, um, you will be able to spell bump in the jungle. Besides, if you don't play Revenge Hunter because you're watching this after patch 10. Point, sorry, 11.5. So 11, uh, if you are watching this, when the patch on, 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 on the service is 11.6 or further, then you can take Relentless Hunter as well. And then when it comes to the this page, I think I'll go for probably Nimbus Cloak and Transcendence, or actually I'll even go for Gathering Storm, which I think makes a lot of sense as well. Since I'm playing jungle, I feel like going attack speed is good, but normally on Talon you don't really need attack speed. Um, I think Adaptive Force is better. I will go attack speed, the only reason I go attack speed is because I just want to have um, well, you know, better jungle clear, right? Attack speed is always more efficient in the jungle than uh, double AP. Unless you are playing a mage, that maybe is the exception. But even on Livia, you take attack speed. Anyway, we are heading to the game, see you soon. So, we are in the game currently. Um, I think the smite of choice is gonna be that smite because we want to increase that damage, but we also want to decrease their damage on us. Uh, Master is probably one of the hardest matchups because he... Well, before I'm level 6, at least you can just, you know, Q on me and auto me a lot and then I die at some point. Against Master E, you mainly want to play champions that have um, crowd control. I don't have any crowd control on Talon. I guess our team has kind of low crowd control. I mean, we do have a Ramos top lane. We will see how that one goes. I might, I guess, just use my world level 1 and base for a lens so that I can look for ganks early. Uh, since, you know, you can E over the walls, it is good maybe to look for ganks at the same time though talon actually needs items before he can do damage i think if you play talon and you well just just your first clear is very very difficult very very difficult and then as you farm and as you get more and more cs as you get more items and levels and the clear becomes easier i mean it's kind of the same on every jungle gem right <laughs> you uh, it's, it's hard at first and then it becomes easier and easier but on talent specifically it's it's giga hard i'm gonna take q first i think actually i make a mistake i think w first is better okay just so you know w first is better don't take you first i made a mistake remember that um when you use your Q and you kill the target, 50% of the cooldown is restored, refunded. But also, what you get is 14 health or a little bit of health, which is kind of good. Because your kill, like I mentioned before, is not the easiest. Especially like um, I, I mentioned patch 10.16, when um, it's going to be slightly harder to clear because revenge is... Uh, look, this this mastery give me, it gives me 55 health, right? That's a lot of health. 55 health is a lot of health. So imagine I have like less than 200 right now, or less than 250. That would be much harder, right? We don't have E, we don't have Flash. If Mastery is here, we die. 
So it is definitely a niche pick because you know it can get cheesed very easily. Like level one talent is not very strong too, so there is many ways to get ahead against a talent in the jungle. Not sure if I can do much here. I'm waiting for his W to be done to proc the thingy. That was very close. If I get the Oriana E, I mean, I guess she didn't really have the shield, right? She has shield for herself. So she, we got two kills. I think this is worth it. I'm gonna skip the crab for now and just full clear again. Hopefully, Mastery doesn't get the crab as well. Uh, we can E over a couple of walls, you know, make sure we are faster. You know, I think CDR shoes are good, but you don't have to buy CDR shoes. You can buy other shoes. Mastery might be slightly faster six than me because he got the Drake and the crab, and also he's getting a big mid wave. So he will probably be. Wait, 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 wait. They just keep it. I'm coming, just in case. Okay, we cleaned up, that's good. I mean, the Master EQ again, it was just not the best idea. I think I'm gonna go for Shoes now, uh, because Shoes give me a lot of CDR, which is, I think, nice. Prowler's Claw is, of course, the item we are heading towards, right? We want Prowler's Claw pro as far as possible, because that gives us the most damage. Um, and also a j additional jump, so we can, you know, Q melee range, then it deals uh, uh, extra damage. When when you melee range with Q, you also crit, right? So it deals extra damage. So we want to achieve that form as soon as possible. But I just feel like with this item, we can actually gank so much easier. I would like to gank the Nar because I feel like it's very gankable. I think the bot lane is hard to gank, but I think the top lane is easy to gank because we have Ramos, so we have a lot of CC. Burst him, him down with no problems. Don't have to use Ignite here. No reason to. Okay, so the game state is not bad. I'm like a little bit worried about my bot lane, but my mid lane should be kind of happy still. Level 7 now. Um, Well, around that time, my W is giga strong, so it's no problem to clear any jungle camps. Like right now, as you can see, especially that I have two kills, like it's so easy to clear the camps. And I run towards her. My ult is kind of useless though. As you could see, I ignited her because I wanted to make sure that she doesn't life steal or get any resets. Might be dead here. Oh, I'm better dead. Well, the good thing is that Janna got the kill and not the Master E. Um, that's not too bad. Zirian could really help me more and, you know, I didn't really have anything to dash from, so I died. But the game still is not bad and I still have a lot of gold. Um, I think I'm gonna play towards the Herald now. Don't have mobbies, which are very useful in these scenarios. As you can see, there's no chance in R to press any buttons if you play it well. Just kind of do your whole combo before you can react. As you can see, I'm doing Herald because I want to force mid tower. I think it is Drake. I mean, this is the second Drake. Of course, if they get three Drakes, that's gonna be bad. But if they get three Drakes, they just get three Drakes, you know? It's not because I'm doing Herald, no. If they, if they get three Drakes, it's not because right now I'm doing Herald. It's just because they are ahead or the game is hard to play. And right now I'm super strong, right? So in theory, since I'm so fed, I can probably easily uh, kill people on side lanes or just assassinate people without worrying too much. And my jungle clear right now is good, right? I'm not like too worried about my jungle clear as well. So everything looks fine. Well, my ult this time was kind of useless. But he was still... Oh my! He did not have to take that kill. I mean, I understand that like Master E could dab you and maybe reduce the damage by a little bit, but there's no way he can live that. Okay, now I'm giga broken because now I also become tanky. As soon as I get Edge of the Night, I'm giga broken, but even currently, I'm kind of giga broken because I have so much damage. I just finished my crawlers. I have uh, like 30 lethality and I have so much CDR and my gathering some proc ones. This could be a very good fight for us. Is one shot. Well, we didn't get a triple, and Master E was not here, so the five was uh, five v four. But there's not not that much they could honestly do. Maybe I can change this guy. Actually, <laughs> he just ran in one v. He wanted to <laughs> he wanted to do make something happen. But yeah, this game is not gonna end very well for them. I'm just too fed on Talon. Like when you are when you are playing assassin. And you become so bad, it's very hard for enemies to play. Something I want to mention, though, 
is that I saw people talk about how useless tanks are because every champ deals so much damage. That's not how it works, by the way, okay? Like, tanks are still kind of strong in the meta. Because if you play a good tank and you get fed, like Ramos is, for example, in this game. I mean, I don't really think that Ramos top lane is very viable. But if anything, he's kind of broken. I misplayed this because I didn't proc my passive. So he lived with 1 HP. But anyway, as I was saying, when you pick a tank, if you become fed in the early game, and it's not hard because tanks, they are stronger faster in the game. Tanks are stronger faster in the game than carries because they require less gold to be useful. They just require a couple of levels and a little bit of HP, right? And they are so OP. So like, when you play tanks, the game is a free win, honestly. Like, I think tanks are so broken so lucky. Like, I, even in this game, we have Azilian and Janna. But, you know, if you play a good Leona and you play a good Leona or even even you could pick Treasure Blitzcrank into Janna and like the game is just over for the Janna. She can't play. One hook with a gang is, is just game over. Oh, I'm dead. I misplayed it! I didn't proc my passive twice actually. I was hard to proc the passive master League because he was melee range, but I think I'm, I need to I need to reconsider using my ultimates like that. Because I feel like I always use my ult to go like very, very deep, right? Which is kinda cool. But you know, when I have ult in any of the situations, when fighting Master e or Samira, they will get so one shot because my ult is so OP. And you cannot really miss the ult, right? Like you really cannot miss the ult. I think she saw me. Mm. I mean, why is everyone so... Why are they so far away? I wanna get kills, but I can't, man. Okay, I'm gonna base, and I'm gonna buy items, and after I base, I'm gonna buy... Okay, no, what, let's just start it. I wanted to start it after I base, but I think we can just start it now, because they are li really, like, not leaving their base, you know? They are hugging their towers so hard that we can't really make, like, a play on them, because they are just hugging the towers too much, so we just have to do... We have to do Nash, there's no other choice. This is the only way you can end the game right now, if you do Nash. Okay. I'm gonna get my last camp, get Serpent's Fang. I think Serpent's not too bad against Janna and against um, the item. Also, the, I, uh, the Serpent got buffed, so I feel like it's not a bad item overall. Besides, I have, what, 59 Lethality? I mean, that's crazy numbers, right? I do true damage to pretty much everyone right now. But I feel like I am slow. Not sure if we have any Talon mains out there, but similar to Shaco, I really don't mind if you guys... Correct my build if you think it's wrong. If you feel like, you know, mobility shoes are much, much better on Talon than CDR shoes. Because I kind of feel like I'm lacking a little bit of mobility right now. Oh, she blocked my W. But I did ignite her and, well, I mean, yeah. Well, I could kill the Nar, but uh, I could take him with me, but he still took me down. As you can see though, Janna is really not having fun playing this game. <laughs> like, I really don't make it fun for Janna to play this game out. <laughs> I'm making sure she hates her life. She just gets so one shot, like she can't play. <laughs> and I can kind of do it to everyone, right? It's, it's, it's like I choose Janna and I kill Janna, but it's not like Janna is the only target that I can go for. I can really go for any target and anyone will die to my burst. Like anyone will get one shot, I'm just so strong. Like, look, my passive deals 700 damage, right? So I really need to proc my passive. That's the most important thing. And but you proc the passive by hitting three abilities and then auto. You need to hit auto after three abilities. <laughs> the Kaisa knows I'm recording, so she's just having some fun. Holy. My ult was useless yet again. This guy's one shot, so I'm not sure what he's trying to do. I still have my pro as well. Oh my god, poor mastery. I feel like if I would be slightly better on Talon, I could one shot so many more people. I feel like I, I can I have so much damage. I feel like I can literally one tap anyone. <laughs> Fighting.
Well, GG! That was the Town Dragon for all of you. Um, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Uh, whatever I should change my town build, whatever I shouldn't. And of course, if you'd like to see your champion played, uh, also mention that because I don't really know what you want me to play. So if you leave me a comment and tell me what you want me to, what what, what do you want to, you know, see from me, I would gladly play that because we did have Talon comments, so I played Talon. Uh, we did have, you know, Trandle comments. I might play Trandle, but if there is any champion you would like to see me play, make sure you comment on that. Well, thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.